In this Learning Byte for Windows Small Business Server 2011 Essentials, we'll take a look at managing and creating shared folders. To get started, here in the dashboard, we'll go ahead and open the Shared Folders and Hard Drives tab, where we can see a number of shared folders that have been created. When we select a particular shared folder, we have a number of tasks that are available. We can open the folder to see its contents, view the folder properties, and move the folder to a different volume as we add new capacity to the SBS server. Let's go ahead and take a look at adding a new folder. This wizard has been greatly simplified for the SBS environment compared to what you'll find in Windows Server 2008 R2 standard, with a lot of the options being given the appropriate values for a small business environment. Let's go ahead and make a folder for the accounting department. We'll go ahead and accept a default location and give the folder a simple description. Next, we can take a look at which of the users in our environment have access to this folder. Roland Winkler is a network administrator, so by default, he has read-write access. For additional users, we can decide whether they should have read-only, read-write, or no access to this folder. It's a quick and simple process to go ahead and create new shared folders for your SBS environment. The last step is to make sure that the server backup configuration is protecting that particular folder. So if you've created it on a volume that's already part of your backup configuration, then no additional action is necessary. But again, as you add capacity to your SBS server and create new shared folders on those new drives, you'll want to make sure that your backup configuration is updated to include that folder. For existing shared folders, we can also go ahead and view their folder properties. The same basic information, including the description, is available, as well as the sharing options determining who has access to the shared folder and what level of access they have. You can also assign access to shared folders from the user perspective. By selecting the Users tab in the dashboard and selecting a user, we can go ahead and check their account properties. This includes a Shared Folders tab, where you can see for each shared folder what their level of access is and modify it as necessary. So that's a quick look at managing and creating shared folders in an SBS 2011 Essentials environment. Thank you for watching this Learning Byte, and I hope you'll watch additional videos.